What's up for discussion? Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats, not so much. All right, mate, all right. No need to get arsy about it. Take the money, bastard, if he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. I made a bucket Seems of coins like off a good him. moment to talk. When we get back to the gate, I'll take... I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. Do you know, of all the indignities heaped upon me in this place, that might well be the worst. It seems you've made quite the profit. My patron will see you rewarded. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. She offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I'd loved before she found me. Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. I made a timely retreat into the countryside. To paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Indeed. Want to split the very soul. But I dare not dwell on it any longer, lest I weep. And we have your reward to consider. Once I have made my way safely back to the city. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city, truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Breathe deep and move. A good day to you, sir. I apologize, but Lady Janeth is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. <clears throat> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present please come back another time the one oscar fevras an artist of some renown i'm told usually by him lady janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse and has sent her staff on Holiday accordingly. Were you to try and enter, there'd be nothing I could do to stop you. After all, I am on holiday. Do as you wish. Urgent deliveries to make. Sharp as ever. Checking things out.
Which way to the nearest library? Made at the ready. Two steps at a time. of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him. But be gentle. He's not to blame. Now is your last chance to run. Don't be like that, darling. Offer our guests something to drink. Maybe your blood. If you have the courage to stay, help subdue him. But be careful. I could not stand to lose him. Please, this isn't his fault. Help me subdue him. Quiet, woman. I'll scratch out your eyes! Now, not that I'm ungrateful for your help, but... Wait. Your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before in Oscar's sketches. You're the one who saved him from the Zentarim. I imagine this must be quite a shock. Hardly the Oscar you remember. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought. But it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. The last time I left this room, the walls started bleeding, and a portrait of my mother tried to bite me. Flying furniture and screaming portraits I could deal with. But to see my husband reduced to such a state... I can't come within arm's reach without him trying to strangle me. And he calls me such vile things. It hates everyone, but it loathes me. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became withdrawn, working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Whatever this thing is it doesn't want anyone going up there i swear it's in the walls watching gentlemen i am quite certain almost upon this most pathetic spirit best for how word
They say good art has depth the meaning. This painter really took the lesson to heart. To the mansion's faded exterior, you see the faintest outline of a door, an entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion. The door shudders. It has no choice but to let you inside. Mystic carrion awaits. I have need of you. with Mr. Carrion. Mr. Carrion is truly banished. He will not trouble this plane again. Probably just a dead cat. Please, Carrie, my darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me little childish boy I only wished to explain myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist I wanted to be left in peace and how does that help me or is it just to help him why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Beveras? Oh, my sweet Carrie. 
What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal plane. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Kerry, my sweet meat. I, I just need to know that what you did, that it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost. Dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth, he can have it. We were a fling, nothing more! My decision had nothing to do with him! I did this because I was so fucking sad all the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own fucking problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I, I was truly not to blame. No. You weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me! We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. I... I'd like to stay. I, I confess I never felt ours was a marriage of substance. I rather thought you just liked me for my art. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Please, before you go, I must pay you back. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Here he is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to capture the spirit in which it was created. Certainly the defender of artists. <laughs> a perfect title. Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. <laughs> 